Hi, I'm Joe Warbington from Bizlib to take you through the journey of data, analytics to action for the Click Federal Partner Summit in 2020. Proud to be here. Bizlib builds value-added products for ClickSense. We have five products that allow you to add advanced capabilities, rich customization, and are provided with premium support. What you can expect from Bizlib is that we can help you to add immediate value to your ClickSense deployment, allowing you to customize everything, add advanced capabilities and functionality, maybe some new chart types, and really seamlessly integrate with your brand and interface. We're really proud also that we're part of the Click Trusted Extension Developer Program, which means we work with all versions of ClickSense. Vizlib is 80 employees and growing now with four offices around the globe supporting over 700 customers. And we cover all of the verticals. Uh, these are all the sectors with 12 spoken languages in 45 countries. In the federal and public sector areas, we have customers that cover everything from defense and education, health and research and workforce. And our organizations include agencies and branches of government, but also include state and local governments, uh, foreign governments like the Israeli government and Israeli police, through large public sector health institutions like New South Wales in Australia or the NHS. We're also supporting global organizations like Mercy Ships. The Vizlib products cover everything from visualizations through self-service and collaboration. So let me take you through each product very quickly and then we'll get into some demos. The Vizlib library is a collection of visualization, UI components, and navigational elements that allow you to build pixel-perfect dashboards with advanced capabilities. Self-service is the ultimate ad hoc reporting solution allowing users to create their own reports and visualizations even by using their own voice. Vizlib Finance is the PNL report on steroids. Using a very easy to use templated based approach, you can build beautiful visualizations for the, your finance department and even allow your users to add comments into data fields or do budgeting on the fly with write back capabilities. Vizlib Gantt is an intuitive visual planning experience for ClickSense. It allows you to see time-based data on an interactive timeline and using WriteBack you're able to also actually do that project planning and change the parameters on various elements to see how things overlap. Vizlib Collaboration is a set of solutions that allow your team to collaborate with one another and share insights and comments alongside the data in a secure fashion and it also includes our WriteBack components. These take click from a read-only analytics experience into a truly uh, workflow-based, process-based tool that allows you to capture insights and data at the point of information and insights. Now let's jump into a few public sector and federal demonstrations to show you how Vizlib can work with your ClickSense deployment. We'll start first with an HHS wall of shame data, which is affected individuals uh, that have um, had breaches of their secure data. If we choose 2020, we'll see we can annotate charts with this information to really call out some of these spikes here. We, uh, we have these really nice buttons to show all the dates. If I clear my selections and I choose a particular state, let's say Virginia, we're going to see all of the organizations that have leaked protected health information and this can give us some information about who has done this. In the dynamic narratives we also see this information up to date and show us everything that's going on in the application. Let's switch gears over to an FDA type of use case, uh, clinical trials from clinicaltrials.gov. What we see is a list of studies that have achieved certain phases for COVID-19 medications and vaccinations. We're going to choose a couple of different statuses to see the visual information up to date. And what you can see is a very unique experience and interface for ClickSense. We have tabs along the top. We have different types of visualizations, uh, new KPIs that include trend lines behind the scenes. And everything is interactive as well for the end user so they can have a good experience in visualizing this information. We'll hop over to the Gantt and what we'll see is the listing of all the studies when they're supposed to start and when their anticipated completion date is and if I pick one let's say these completed studies for phase three in COVID maybe I want to share this insight so I'm going to use Vizlib collaboration teamwork and I'm going to tell my uh, teammates that we should review these four studies once I share that insight it's tied to the data in my selections 
if I have the ability to, I can share this uh, securely through uh, secured email, through Slack, or through Microsoft Teams with my teammates. Again, all secured. Um, or I can review previous comments that have been made about this application. And if I see this one from Adrian here, he wants me to review this particular study. Jonathan agrees. He thinks we should look at these 1,000 plus studies. I made some insight about a really interesting medication. And again, I can follow the story and the insights that were shared here uh, in the application. On the Gantt, again, I can see timelines where I drop in uh, the WHO completion date or also that final phase of what day it currently is. Switching over to self-service, I can view reports that are built for me. And these are the tabular data that we're used to, or I could choose a different preset or report that was defined for me. Let's say this particular one here. Well, I may want to clear this out and just start from scratch and pick my own data elements from a list of dimensions and measures that are organized for me. So I'll pick status or sponsor. I'll look at the number of studies I can do things like sort the data. Um, I can pull in maybe some additional details or data elements like the baseline and enrollment. And look at this at a, my own view, my own slice of the data, but it's all trusted because we're using Click and the governed data models. So here, I'm gonna organize things by say estimated enrollment, and I can take information and act on it from here. Let's say maybe I want to share this insight. I could export it securely, or I can do something really unique to click and export this information to a new sheet or even a new application to start even further, deeper analysis in ClickSense. I can also visualize the data in different ways and not limited to table-based data. I could do combo charts and bar charts and select how I want to visualize this information, all without having to learn uh, the behind the scenes kind of editing capabilities and click. I'm simply pricking, picking and choosing from a list of dimensions and measures and how I may want to visualize it. We also give you um, the ability to pick the best visualization for this. Now hopping over to right back, let's say I have an estimated enrollment for this particular study and I want to add 250 say patients to this. With right back, I can add in the information. I can pick the reprover from a list of approvers. I can say that there's a low risk for the first phase milestone and a medium for the second. And let's say our COVID supply delays uh, are the potential for that risk. I'm gonna pick an anticipated completion date. And what you'll see happen is when I write this data back, my 40 approved studies should become 41. And now I've taken action on this data. Instead of sending it or exporting it out, I can review all this information. I can see all the approvals that have been made. I can make edits to this information. And this data is stored where I need it. It might be in the source system, might be in QVDs for click, but it allows me to act on that data and close the analytics loop. For the finance folks in the room, this should look pretty familiar. It's a PL report, but this is the PL on steroids with BizLib Finance. Beautiful, gorgeous, interactive, powered by Click. But let's say I want to take some more action on that data. Let's say I want to do some budgeting. I can actually find a data element that I want to work on. Let's say maintenance. And let's say I want to increase maintenance, uh, this particular line item, uh, by 1,500. I can put in a comment here, like there was a slight increase for um, additional licenses. And we'll see that adjustment. I'll write this data back and immediately is brought back into my PL. I can see in my audit trail here that I made this comment. It's adjusted by me, the user, at this particular time. So there's always a secure audit trail of what's going on. And uh, it updated in the PL, but that might have been pretty fast. So we're going to take a look at maybe another row here, like support. Keep an eye on that number there. That's 17.6 times the right. Let's increase maintenance. Um, you know what? Let's let's not. I mean, let's not increase support. Let's um, reset that value. Let's give a discount <laughs> on support of 10%. So a 10% discount on this one, and uh, you know, for travel cost reductions, would be nice here. That's the adjustment. Keep an eye on that support line, and when I hit right back. You actually see it updates in this data and it captures that actual and budgeted value.
So we can not only do the budgeted side, but maybe we want to change our, our chart of accounts. We can do things like rename the rows and mapping. And this is all stuff that your finance team would love to do, but often has to ask IT to do. So here they can map those accounts and have complete control over the finance report. So I wanted to go back to the visual side and note that we not only have a dark mode, we also have a Tony Stark mode. There is an endless possibility of things that you can do with VisLib visually, and this is just a quick showcase of this. Everything is interactive, it's powered by the Click Engine, and it gives you the capabilities to build the visualizations you need to engage your users, to bring people into the fold, share those insights, and we might as well have a little bit of creativity going on. This isn't just simple ones and zeros. So there you go. And there you have it. The ability to add more with VisLib uh, is something that I showcased across a number of those applications, helping you to drive more adoption of your analytics, build those dashboards that are customized and branded to your themes and uh, requirements, improve the agility and speed of your team members for building reports and visualizations and getting data out, and then ultimately empowering your users so that they can use data to take action. So you can learn more and get started at vizlib.com. We look forward to working with all of your organizations and have a great day. Thank you.